Hello students, let's take up the next question. So the today's question is, if a lens can converge the sun rays at a point 20 cm away from its optical center, then the power of this lens is 2 diopter minus 2 diopter, 5 diopter minus 5 diopter. So we have to select the correct option. So let's start. So here what is mentioned in the question? It mentioned a lens. So we have to take a lens and what kind of lens? It converges the sun rays. So if a lens converges the sun rays, it means it's a converging lens or it's a convex lens. So this is a convex lens. Okay. <coughs> so this ray, this uh, lens converges the sun rays falling on it. Now we know that the rays coming from the sun are coming from infinity. So, if the rays come from infinity, they are considered as parallel rays. The incoming rays are parallel. And if we draw them like this, so if these are the parallel rays, this is the principal axis, this is the optical center, this is the focus and this is the 2f1, f1 and 2f1. Okay. So, since the incoming rays are parallel, what does a converging ray do? It converges all the rays coming from the sun to the focus. Okay. So, since these rays converges to a point that is at the focus, so where these rays meet, there the image will be formed and that place is the focus of the lens. Okay. And the length O F1 is known as the first focal length F1. Okay. So, this convex lens forms a real image of a distant object. Right. So, this image is real because it is formed by the actual intersection of the refracted rays. So, these parallel rays after refraction, they meet at the first focus. Okay. So, here since the focus, the principle, the focus lies to the right of optical center. So, it is taken as positive as per sign convention. Why? Because the, to measure the focal length, we have to go in the right direction. Okay, that is along the direction of the light rays. So, F is positive. So, here since the rays are meeting at F1, which point is it mentioned in the question? At a point 20 centimeter away from its optical center. So, here we can say that the focal length of the lens is plus 20 centimeter, right? That is equal to 0 0.2 meter. Okay. <clears throat> so, now that we have the focal length, we can find out the power because power is asked here and power we know that it is the reciprocal of focal length expressed in meters. Okay. So, what does power of a lens give? It gives the ability of the lens to, uh, it, it gives the converging ability or diverging ability of the lens. So, how, to what extent it converges? If we take it in context of the convex lens, to what degree it converges? That is known as the power of the convex lens. So, let's find out what is the power of this lens. So, power is equal to 1 by f in meter. That is equal to 1 by f is here 0 0.2 meter. So, that is equal to it will be uh, 1 by 2 by 10. Right? Meter that is equal to 10 by 2 meter that is 5 meter inverse and meter inverse is known as diopter. So, the power of this lens 
power of the convex lens is plus 5. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.